writing coach. I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite writing books. I'm also a published author in the crime drama romantic suspense category. This is one of my favorite writing reference books when I'm stuck or I feel like every line I'm using is redundant or I need some fresh ideas. It's the flip dictionary for when you know what you want to say but you can't think of the word. This book was published in 2000. Um, Barbara Kipfer, she's also the um, one of the original authors of the Rogers 21st Century th Thesaurus. This is a little different than a thesaurus. Um, let me read a little passage. Flip dictionary takes you from a meaning that you are aware of, but you can't think of the word or how to say it, um, to an actual word that you need. So um, there is a word for your idea. I love this book. It's a little different than a thesaurus. Um, it is alphabetical, A through Z. So you can see, let me give you an example here. Uh, we have here for the word evil. For example, we have bad, baleful, bane, crime, corrupt, uh, foul, harm, harmful, disaster, calamity, uh, hideous, hurtful, um, malefic, malevolent, malicious, mean, mischief, sinful, sinister, vicious, vile, wicked, wickedness, worthless, wrong. So they're not necessarily all just other words as far as adjectives for evil, it's also general concepts of what evil is, if that makes sense. So uh, for the word event, okay, you wanna describe an event, you don't really know how to say it, you don't wanna sound boring and redundant or cliche, you could use something like adventure, um, affair, a celebration, uh, an incident, a happening, a landmark, um, a milestone, an occasion, an outcome, a phenomenon, a tournament, a scenario, an achievement, a catastrophe. <laughs> uh, I love this book, it's so terrific. Um, what I like too is, uh, let's say you go to any letter here, I'm in D, you have these little charts on the top. Here we have a chart for drilling tools, different type of drilling tools. Um, I saw a whole page on, here we have under C, we have court and legal terms, very popular court and legal terms in case you're writing in that genre. Um, we have different types of court games here. We have um, a whole chart on constellations. I mean, it's a terrific book. It just really depends on what you're looking for. We have every cancer listed in this book, types of cancer cancer, and their breakdown. It covers diseases in this book. Uh, it covers um, individual words, uh, mythological and legendary characters, um, all list of musical instruments. We have here all the different oceans and seas in the world, where they're located, a list of psychiatric disorders. <laughs> um, and these, these are all just the charts on the top, but then you have individual words, alphabetical, uh, that you can come up with concepts for. Oh, we have here, uh, it's just a really unique book. In the back, there are some really neat charts as well. We have a list for team sports. We have a list for terms of endearment. Um, here's a word, you know, tickle. We have amuse, annoy, stimulate, titillate, touch, stroke, stir. stir. And for the, for the concept of time, for example, um, there's age, you know, you can think of things like chronology, clock, future, hour, interval, minute, moment, opportunity, pace, past, rhythm, uh, season, shot, spell, stint, stretch. So it's not necessarily another word for time, it's the concept of time and other ways you can think about it and how you can use that in your book. So tree-related terms, there are some really funny things in here, I have to admit. Um, United States organizations, a listing and a breakdown. Uh, it's really a terrific book. It's an older book for sure. I'm not even sure where I found it originally. I think I got it at a sale uh, at a used bookstore, but I'll bet you can find online. There's a double page chart on military terms. There's a double, there's all kinds of charts on weapons. So get your flip dictionary, check it out, find a used copy if you can, because it's very helpful if you are a fiction writer. Thanks for watching everybody.